Good morning, Henderson. It's 76 degrees now at 443. War was already erupting around the world when Ron Ruff joined the U.S. Air Corps in 1940. It wasn't long before America was pulled into the fight. Joan Hallmark brings us Ruff's story in this morning's Freedom Fighters. Smart people are good people. Ron Ruff joined the Air Corps in 1940 when he was 18. By the time he was 20, he was a master sergeant and a crew chief in charge of keeping our planes flying in World War II's European theater. Our targets were bridges, airfields, gun emplacements, um, anything that moved, trains. Whatever. Ruff was at first stationed in England, right in the pathway of German bombs headed for London. They started over at night, and we didn't know what they were. The Air Corps was a dangerous branch in those days, with a 50% mortality rate for its pilots. And of course, young guys, they don't realize how dangerous it is until they get in it. And then, when, then they say, well, we're not going to make it through this, so we might as well get as many enemies as we can. The two most historic events of the war that Ruff remembers most are the Battle of the Bulge and the Normandy invasion. D-Day, our air group uh, put air cover over Utah Beach. It was at the Battle of the Bulge in November and December of 1944 that air power came into its own in history. We were at Reims, but we were, were very fortunate we were in an old French army base. Ruff was fortunate that he actually had shelter in the coldest winter Europe had known, but the MiG shield he operated from was anything but fortunate. Our airstrip was, was uh, tar paper, and uh, Taxiways were the plank or were wire, like kind of like concrete wire, that, you know, what a square mesh type stuff. An added layer of straw and the rustic airfield was ready to go until the weather shut down all flights. The first four or five days, we couldn't get planes in the air. When the fog and rain finally lifted, American planes joined in the Battle of the Bulge and turned the tide of the war into victory for the Allies. As soon as it opened up, boy, we had planes over the uh, Bastogne all the time. Uh, during the every daylight hour. My job was keep them running, flying. And keep them flying is what flight engineer Ron Ruff did from 1940 to the end of the war in 1945.